then I got it re-pierced when I finished working for Steiner because I really like it. Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and today we're going to be talking about piercings and tattoos and whether you are allowed to work on cruise ships if you have either of these. But before we start, please press like and subscribe for more cruise ship content. But as for now, let's get into it. The answer is kind of simple. Most cruise lines do not like tattoos or piercings. However, there are some cruise lines that are willing to tolerate it but we'll get into that. So basically, if you have a tattoo that is in an area on the body that you are able to cover up, then really you shouldn't have a problem. However, if you've got a massive tattoo on your neck or your face or your hands, then you are probably going to run into some difficulty. And the same with piercings. If you've got facial piercings, then you're going to have to take them out. When I worked for Steiner and I was told I was going to be working on a Royal Caribbean ship, I have a helix piercing and I was told to take it out. So while I worked on Royal Caribbean for Steiner for basically two years, I didn't have this in so it closed up and then I got it re-pierced when I finished working for Steiner because I really like it. Nine times out of ten, if you have a piercing, unless it's like a belly button piercing or something that you can't see, you're just going to have to take it out or have a clear a piece of jewellery to keep the piercing open. So as I said, a lot of cruise lines are willing to compromise with tattoos if they're in an area of the body that you can cover up. However, there are some cruise lines that are really strict and they don't care where your tattoo is, even if your tattoo is on your bum and no one is ever gonna see it you're not allowed so cunard silver sea crystal viking cruises those are just a few cruise lines that are completely no go with tattoos however cruise lines like pno australia pno uk carnival royal caribbean holland america virgin voyages they are way more tolerant of tattoos and are willing to accept them virgin voyages actually is embracing tattoos so crew members with tattoos it doesn't matter if it's visible they are more than welcome obviously as long as they're not offensive when i was training for steiner we were asked if we had any tattoos and if we did then they checked what tattoo it was as long as it wasn't in a completely inappropriate place and that would actually play into what cruise line we would work on. So for example, one of my friends at the Steiner Academy, she was told that, you know, they really wanted to put her on a crystal cruise line. However, because she had a tattoo on her wrist, they were unable to do so. When I was working on Royal Caribbean, although they were tolerant of, ta of tattoos, you definitely got in trouble if, you know, one of the... One of the big bosses came around and saw maybe your ankle tattoo poking out or something. Um, you were told to cover that up right away. I have actually wanted a tattoo for ages, but while working on cruise ships, I've just never got around to doing it because, you know, the industry that I work in is really fussy on tattoos. So I feel like if I got a tattoo, it could potentially close doors for me in the future. So I've just said to myself, I'll just wait until I'm not working on cruise ships to get a tattoo. However, now I'm working on Virgin Voyages and they have a tattoo parlor on board, so you never know. This year might be the year that I get a tattoo. So my advice would be, if you are wanting to work on cruise ships, but you also want a tattoo, I would just do your cruise ship stint first, and then when you finish your cruise ship stint, then get a tattoo. If you already have a tattoo and you are wanting to work on cruise ships, then nine times out of 10, it will be fine as long as you can cover your tattoo up. If you have a tattoo on your neck, the back of your hand, you know, somewhere that's really visible, then you are going to have a more difficult time. So all it really means is that your choices are limited to a few cruise lines as opposed to all the cruise lines. is isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can still work for some amazing cruise lines if you have tattoos. If you can cover your tattoo up, then I really don't see why it should be an issue. It just depends on the company that you work for or the agency that you go through. I really hope this video has answered any of your questions in regards to working on cruise ships with tattoos and piercings. If it has, let me know in the comments and also if you have any other questions. But thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate the support and I will see you in the next video.